Yo, welcome to another episode of Unpredictable Thoughts Podcast. Your boy Troubles in the building. Um, solo dolo, but I will be calling a lot of people today. Um, I'm drinking on that Henny White that gets you right. <laughs> that pure white Hennessy. Just make sure uh, you don't drink and drive. Drink responsibly. Call a live, call a Uber. Make sure you ain't, you know, solo dolo when you do it by yourself. Make sure you have a group of people. Make sure you have a plan because there are creeps in the world. So, um, yeah, but it is pre-Thanksgiving. So I know a lot of people in the kitchen cooking it up. So I will be, I'm calling some people today. We just going, it's not a random call because some of these calls I had to be like, yo, you know, are you going to be good? Because um, some of my friends, they work. Some people in school. So I just had to kind of let them know I'll be calling. Some of them know what we're talking about. Some of them don't. So uh, let's get right into it. I want to start off first with uh, the main man, AC. One of the main reasons why I got into the whole unpredictable thoughts. Well, not unpredictable thoughts, but the whole uh, podcasting world in general or whatnot. He really inspired me to do it. So always got to reach back out. And plus, you know, AC being one of my biggest mentors. Not just in the military, but just in life or whatnot. So I wanted to make sure I call him. Yo, AC. What's up? Nothing. Just drinking some Hennessy. As always. <laughs> but nah, I got you on the podcast. That's what's up. So what's been going on? Not much, man. Just pretty much just staying for myself up here. Um, in June. One day at a time. You in um what Miami? Well, you in, you in Miami or in 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 uh, North Carolina for the holidays? No, we, yeah, we stay in North Carolina for for um Thanksgiving. Oh wow, are y'all going? Right down for Christmas, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I know how y'all get down. Y'all y'all stay in <laughs> at y'all duty station spot too long. Nah, I uh, <laughs> said nah. Uh, so are you cooking or wifey oh, cooking? No, I, Oh, oh. You know, I, I might help out, you know, if you need me to chop something up or, you know, throw something in the blender, but, you know, that's, that's, that's her, um, her, her area of expertise, so. This not her first year, right? No, nah, nah, she's been, she been on it, but. Yeah, well, I know that she, she cooks a lot, but, you know, some people put so much pressure on themselves for Thanksgiving for some reason. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, she did two turkeys last year. She did um like two different seasons or whatever. Mm -hmm. And she fried both of them. But yeah, everybody left last year, so yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure everybody left again this year. That's in Albany. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Like they would have done together anyway. Nah, there's no loyalty. Like, like from what I hear now, like yo, uh, what we built. I what well, we Her built is turned down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know you about to say, but we'll we'll talk about that offline. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh but one of the main reasons why I wanted to do this podcast and whatnot. So I, I I'm just I told the people like I'm calling random people, but for certain people I I know I had to hit y'all up because like yeah. whole family thing and you know, got stuff going on. But one of the main reasons why I wanted to do it is just to kind of shine a light on, you know, the people that aren't able to go home every year or whatnot, or just like Thanksgiving in the military. Cause you know, one of certain commands, I can't speak for all, but the commands I've been to as far as like Thanksgiving, the higher highest enlisted. So you saw a major in the Marine Corps, uh, not Sergeant major of the Marine Corps, but saw a major, and then, um, and then maybe the CEO be like, "Hey, make sure all the Marines got a place to go for Thanksgiving." Yeah. Yeah. So is that something that happened down there in in Lejeune that you know of? Are you inviting uh, any Marines? Well, well, yeah, they they're pushing it, but see, you know, with Lejeune being such a large base, they do a lot of uh, um, SMP dinners up here for for them. Oh. So. They also they you know they want you to uh, do the whole go to your NCO and family and you know your NCO's house, staff NCO's house, stuff like that. You know they don't they don't shy away from that, but 
they push the whole S&P. I think it's like five different towns are doing, um, and the rec center is doing like uh, Thanksgiving dinners, free Thanksgiving dinners, like for geo bathers and stuff like that. So they they got they they pull their resources and they got way more than just just, just staff and geo out going on. Oh wow, that's dope. That is so. Dope. I know last year when I was a uh, part of the S&P program or whatnot, um, I just had I had it catered or whatnot. Yeah, I had the dinners yeah, catered. You, that was on you on your show. Though. You put that one together up here. Yeah, it's more, it's S, it's still S and P, but it's more um, it ain't like a one man show type deal. Like that, the whole base is back there. So oh, there's it's, a lot more support. Oh, so it's not like well, Sergeant Alexander. <laughs> Yeah, hmm. That's that's dope. That's dope. So, um, I guess what is some as far as your family traditions? Is it like any Thanksgiving family tra- traditions that you that y'all do, or that you grew um, up on? I can't. Not, not really. Cause I know you know it's pretty much the same black Southern uh, <laughs> traditions. You know, cooking way more than you need, and everybody just coming. Pretty much, like I said, we we won't we won't experience it. Well, I don't even know because we got invited some friends out to it. They from Miami, so we might still get that Miami flavor. Oh, uh, you know the 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 uh, spade table and the domino and all that stuff coming out. But that's just that's, that's always been the biggest thing in my family. Just uh, it, the tradition has always been just togetherness, mm. like making sure everybody's together and hanging out and having a good time. Yeah. Uh, so what's a Miami Thanksgiving? But y'all you just know, wear we shorts. <laughs> yeah, I would say we don't get we don't got no cold weather, so you know our our Thanksgiving trip is like a summer. Oh shit! Shoot. Hmm. That's that's dope. That is dope. Ain't no snow stopping nobody from coming down. Everybody there. Yeah. So you know, with the holidays, I don't know if I if I should do a Christmas uh podcast, but just in case I don't. You have any words of encouragement for you know military or civilian sector? You know, just being you know in the holiday spirit. Um. Well, you know, same same thing. I've been I've been um I've been talking about since Albany is um a big thing that comes to mind. I just had to breach that to the Marines today. It's, it's suicide. It's a it's, it's a it's a beast. Hmm. And I think a lot of times it comes from that you know Marines just not have somebody to talk to and not feeling like somebody's there for them. So if you definitely, you know, this would be the time to reach out. This is just uh, strengthen that bond to reach out and talk to people, whether it be family you haven't spoken to in a long time or whoever. Because I was, I was just, um, man, I was just on the ground when I looked at, was it Kim? Um, did he, did he ask? Kim Porter, yeah. Past? Yeah, so just stuff like that, like, you know, one second they're here, one one minute they're here, one minute they're gone. Next minute they're gone. Just stuff like that, man. Just being grateful for for life itself, because you just never know when it's gonna turn. So I just push that out every year to my family. Like, yo, be be grateful for us being here. Whether you if you ain't, you ain't speak to your cousin, your auntie in two or three years or whatever, man, reach out to them, say hello. It don't matter if they speak back, man. Just you you take that first step and say something to them. Um, cause like I said, you never know how long. How long we have on the earth together, so yeah, especially with all these shootings and yeah. oh god, we I I, I gotta send you the, the script. I got I don't mind talking about it right now, but it's not it's really a script. It's just my notes. I know I I typed about uh about doing the podcast like basically like being black and being black in the military and having anxiety, right? So what I meant by that. Is like okay, you know the na- the Navy cat that just got killed, like I think yeah. in Cali for trying to help somebody. Yeah. So just, yeah, we just talked about that too. So it was that, and then you know, okay, the Marine Corps, new back in Oki, we discussed this back in Oki, Okinawa, Japan. You know, instead of saying uh Black Panther, it said Nigga Panther, some shit like that on the movie theater yeah. panel. Oh yeah. Yeah, so it's just like. Yo, 
stuff like that will and then all the police shootings like and I, I i said this before i said yo as soon as we leave a gate it doesn't like i'm not in uniform 24 7 like at all yeah. and and say like i understand you know we have haircuts and stuff like that but you know your hair grows so if if i'm kind of looking rough and you know how east side of albany is i like if i'm looking rough that day my i could kind of blend in in a sense but maybe my mannerisms are probably tell different. But if you have some rookie cop that's like 18, 19, they might not know any better. 20, 21, yeah, I mean, I don't, yeah, he looking for none of that. So it's like, damn, you know, I just think it should be, I mean, I know it's, it's, it's kind of hard to, to say because, you know, we always preach in the military. It, it, we all one race or in the Marine Corps, we're all green, but I'm like, yo, that's, that's not the, the realistic of things like when i leave that gate sometimes i'm like oh shit <laughs> yeah. it, it, i promise it, it's crazy that you bring it up because this morning because i work i work at, with new joint so all the new marines well a good percentage of the new marines that come to june like i have to see him i have to talk to him and that actually came up this morning when we were all sitting down it was like um because i had a uh a, a hispanic marine from what actually from miami and you know a couple uh Caucasian Marines were in there, and we were talking about the, the, the dude who actually helped somebody and they got shot. And I actually asked the Caucasian Marine, like, do you do you understand, like, what's wrong with that? And they brought up, like, um, I can't remember his name. They, well, they, went, they, they brought up the, the time when the, the, the aide, the nurse's aide, got shot in the street for dealing with the, the, the situation when he had the, the guy who was, what was it? Like autistic or something. Oh like yeah, that? yeah, we talked about that. Yeah. And the, the yeah. nurses aide yeah. got wound up getting shot, and the autistic dude yeah. did. Not to say that either one was valid. Like, oh, he should have got yeah. shot before him, but still. They they, they actually brought that up. The like, Caucasian Marine actually brought that up, and he was kind of like, "Yeah, that's crazy. Like, you wouldn't think something like that would happen." And I kind of like, "Do you understand?" Like, I asked him, like, "Do you understand why that's wrong? Like, why he?" Cause it was all brought up because the Hispanic kid was like, "If I get pulled over, I'm running." <laughs> I mean, it's like, not. It's, like, it's not funny, but I understand. Like, when he said it, yeah. he was like, "What?" He was like, "I'm a run. I don't get. I don't get shot. I want to live another day." And I, I asked him, "Like, do you understand why he's saying that?" And the the, the white kid was honestly like, "Like, no, not really." It was like, "What? Well, everything's going on. Like, if you get pulled over by police, is there a fear there? Is there a fear of your life?" He like. No, I'd probably be scared because I know I probably did something wrong, but I don't know. I wouldn't be like, I'm going to die. And like, that, that's the difference. Like, whether he's a Marine or not, at the end of the day, there's a fear because he's Hispanic. He, he's dark skinned. He's, he's a dark skinned uh, American. That if he gets put over by police, his, his intent to run is because he thinks he may not make it out of that situation. Yeah. Now, like, that's crazy. Like, that's what I want you to understand. That's crazy that he's your brother. He's sitting right next to you. And that's his out. His, that's how his outlook on the, on the police are. Like that's the fear he goes with every day. If both you get both you guys are together and you go out, that's the fear that he's living with. That he may not make it back if he faces. Yeah. A police a police interaction. And I and I, I like, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. And I was like that. I was just saying that's crazy because like in the day you both Marines, right? Both yeah. Marines. But that's a, that's an additional fear that he lives he lives with. Yeah, I, I got to tag you in uh, a quote. It was like a little thing that uh, that that uh, Wale says, like, you know, in order for us to, like, I, mean, I just tag you, I tag you. We're getting towards, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, thank you for picking up AC. Um, I'm about to call the next person. Make sure you have a happy Thanksgiving, Turkey Day. I don't want to disrespect you. <laughs> so, I, <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, I appreciate it, man. You do the same, man. All right, you too. All right, I'm a holler. All right, all right. Out. So, like I said, yeah, that's AC. We we could talk all day. We probably could have did an hour podcast just now, but you know, I kind of wanted to keep what I said going and just have the whole um, Thanksgiving vibe going on, and yeah, we'll go from there. So, Jones is busy. Four is on the phone. So we're going to hit up uh, Afro Mama Shanae. What's up? It is. Hi, everybody. 
Hello, unpredictable thoughts family. There we go. What's going on? <laughs> hi. Honey, my daughter says hi. Oh, she support the movement. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, you cooking? The coquito, the thing. Mm. Yeah, we're prepping the turkey for like 5 a.m. Uh, but other than that, dinner's not till 4. And where we would normally be at somebody else's house, I mean, where dinner would normally be here, we're going to be at somebody else's house. So we're only doing sides this year. Oh, no. Yeah. I know, right? So, like, what type of sides y'all doing? Um, wow. Wow. Yeah, what type of sides y'all doing? Um, <laughs> <laughs> mm, so you just said coquito earlier coquito, coquito. it's like a puerto rican eggnog minus the eggs it's kind of like a coconut base it's like carnation milk cream of coconut uh and of course it has the rum it has vanilla and cinnamon and it's super duper dang mm. Yeah. So you're just drinking that thing like, you know, it's nothing. And then two cups in, you wonder why you're so first. So you going to like another, so you, y'all going to another house, so they, they Hispanic descent, right? Yeah. So my family's Dominican and they're Puerto Rican and Guatemalan. Oh, so it's going to be like mad rice and beans and pork? So uh, describe what's pescatarian real quick for the people that don't know. I know what it means, but <laughs> pescatarian is when you just you don't eat meat, but you do eat seafood. Oh. And then of course vegetarian is, in, which is my brother. Um, he doesn't eat meat nor seafood, just vegetables and fruits. Hmm. Got it. Hold on. Sorry. <laughs> so, like, is it any uh Thanksgiving traditions that your family normally does? <laughs> holidays that I wasn't able to make it back, we get a tablecloth, and we put it on the table, and everybody that comes, whether you're near or far, whether you come every year, you don't, everyone signs it, and they put what you're thankful for. Yeah. Oh, wow. So, it's super duper dope. We don't eat on it or anything. We, you know, we put it down for everybody to sign. Once everybody's done signing it, put it back into the cabinet, but I actually just found out earlier that it's going to be passed down to me to keep the tradition going, so that's super dope. Oh, that that is though. That 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 really is though, because you know I feel as all you know as we get older and sometimes with the digital age or whatnot, we kind of we kind of forget tradition what tradition is. Exactly, and how much it can matter in regards to family. Yeah, and it matters a lot because tradition. That's how you keep your heritage alive. Exactly. With tradition, you you add stuff or whatnot. I mean, you kind of take stuff away because you know times change or whatnot, but you don't kind of. You still know what the base of it is at the end of the day exactly. and keep it and it's, it's authentic. Little, uh, exactly. It's a little authentic thing like that that represents family. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm, I'm on a hen. I'm on that henny white. They oh, get you right. It? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm good. I'm good. So uh, before we get out of here, you got a book. Author. Yeah. It's just so weird to say. <laughs> Adult um, breastfeeding coloring book. Adult breastfeeding coloring book. So on each page, there's a fun fact. On each page, there's an affirmation. So it's to inspire. It's to educate. And it's to kind of change the the view of breastfeeding. And it is to... Ow! Leilani Marie! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what she says. Um, and it's just, it, 
it's all women of color in there. So I kind of partner with different women, 25 different women to be exact. Out all women of color who agreed to let me use their picture and turn it into a Zentangle art, which is, of course, the picture that has, like, the paisley and all that. Yeah, yeah. And it dropped November 12th. So if you are looking to get that, you're looking to educate, you're looking to give a stocking stuffer, or maybe just a gift, or you know someone who's pregnant, or somebody who wants to be pregnant, or maybe someone who is interested in breastfeeding or not sure if they want to breastfeed, um, you can learn more about that at afro-mama.com. Oh, want to give you an Instagram out as well? You was about to say dot com, wasn't you? <laughs> <laughs> and also, uh, the Unpredictable Thoughts family, we um, support the book as well. So uh, you could go to our website, unpredictablethoughts2.com. It's the second segment of it. You just click on the book and it take you right to a website and go from there. And along with the coloring book, there's merch as well. So even if you're not interested in you know doing the coloring book, that's fine. But you can always support by getting a mug, getting some decal. There you go. Decal. Pins. Mm-hmm. Bonnets. Yeah. Sorry, she don't do bonnets no more. <laughs> well, not yet. It's on hold. Don't say it because it's not like never, ever, ever. It's just on hold right now. Okay, got you, got you. But uh, I want to say happy Thanksgiving, happy Turkey Day. I'll see you soon. Bye. I hit you back. Okay. All right. So we got that. So I was Shay Afro Mama. Make sure you cop her book. Now I'm about to talk to the homie Ford. Let's see if he pick up this time. Hear me talking shit about him. It's like, nah. <laughs> Yo, what's going on? Sitting there watching this game. Yeah, I knew it. I was like, I seen it on. I seen it on the book. I was like, Yo, I ain't even about to tell him I'm about to do. I'm gonna just call him. Be like five minutes and that's it. But basically, right now I'm just doing the podcast about you know Thanksgiving and you know being away you know in the military on Thanksgiving how hard it could be and you know any other Thanksgiving traditions that you may have in life. Uh, okay, you, you running right now? Or you oh yeah, I'm running it. Like yeah, I'm calling. I'm I'm calling mad people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, let's go. Uh, go ahead. You you Cali bound right now? Yeah, I'm in um Cali right now. How wifey doing? Everything good, man. Cali hey. getting big. Uh, we just chilling. So go find out. Uh, she don't want to know, but I'm gonna find out this weekend what we having. So yeah, I know. Yeah, I... <laughs> man. Yeah. Everything moving. Mm. Coming at me fast, but you know. Yeah. So uh, cause she's Hispanic descent, right? Dominican, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Yeah, a little coquito. Okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, y'all gonna have co- cojito? Co- co- I can't even pronounce it. <laughs> I'm, I'm drinking on the Henny, so. <laughs> I'm sober right now, so I ain't even on the same wavelength. Yeah. So, um, you know what I'm talking about, though? The, like the, the Hispanic eggnog, in a sense? Well, they, I don't know. Coquito? What's the Dominican most of uh, eggnog? Coquito? Well, what's the Hispanic thing? Coquito, yeah. Okay, yeah. Did they make any of that? Well, I know she can't drink, but... Nah, we ain't none of that. Uh, okay. So, is it is it just like you heard vibe about, or... Oh so uh, yeah, yeah. I got you, got. You. I mean, it's, it's like a uh, condensed milk and some coke. Yeah, Pinterest. Put it on Pinterest. They got some. Uh, they got a uh, mama woman. <laughs> yeah, I know her. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she got that. Who cooking? You or her? They doing the cooking. Uh-huh. I'm watching the games. I'm be on football all day. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm watching the games. 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 I'm yeah, I'm on some uh, watching uh, football and waiting on the food to get done. What y'all eating tonight? No, nah, tomorrow. Oh, I'm like, oh, well, we still. Football, in... football come on. I'm talking about tomorrow. Football come on tomorrow. You know that? Yeah, I know that, but you said you waiting for the food to get done. Like, yeah, tomorrow. Oh, they cook it tomorrow. 
know what I'm saying? Yeah, y'all prepping tonight. Got gotcha. you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, family man or whatnot. Uh, any Thanksgiving traditions that you want to start up or maybe bring into your family that you grew up on? Behind Thanksgiving, and uh oh, you got people, you know, yeah. I'm not, I'm not gonna get too deep into it. Um, <laughs> when, you, when you think about you know the whole meaning behind it, and, uh, the origin of where it came from, and you know how it affected different lives at different levels or whatever. Um, for me, man, it's just about um, honestly, it's just about coming together as a family and just spending time with the family because you know us, we don't really do that too much anyway. So. Unless uh, your, your grandmother passed, yeah, you know, uh-huh. basically something bad happened in the family that's really the only time we get together so for me that's all that's one thing it's about for me is just getting together with the family enjoy company talk a little trash and you know just sit back and enjoy the company of each other yeah for me that's what it is i ain't even i'm not even big on you know gotta have turkey or for most black people we gotta have chillings oh so you know me i don't eat chillings so no pork on my fork no swine on my mind (laughs) <laughs> but yeah i do want you to kind of go in depth well not go in depth but just kind of uh talk about you know for the marines that can't make it home or not marines just military and per and military personnel in general that can't make it home you know some people maybe this is civilian sector don't realize like yo we always can't make it home like yo it can be a lonely time sometimes yeah, people I mean, contemplate suicide yeah it's really the rough uh rough is honestly yeah. for, especially for people that's not even deployed just in general um for two reasons uh for the ones that's not deployed you know sometimes it's hard to catch flights around this time of year uh flights get a little bit more expensive and trying to get uh leave and stuff like that approved to go travel it gets a little bit tough around this time of year uh for expenses and then Different units, you gotta have uh, different manning requirements. So some people just can't take leave to go home. Mm. Um, outside of that, for the deployed Marines, you know, just being away in a different country or whatever, not being able to sit back with family and friends and just kick it and talk shit. Even though they were the military family, you don't necessarily get the same. You know, you got different backgrounds, different religions or whatever, so you can't celebrate the same way you would as if you was at home. If you would even celebrate, you know what I mean? Yeah. Although they do give you good food or whatever, it's just not. It's not the that, same. You know, it's not the home vibe, yeah. Now, I was trying to explain earlier. I'm like, yo, like if your section or your shop, your work section, if y'all not tight, it, it won't feel the same, like at all. It's not going to be the same anyway because at the end of the day, you still got a mission to do. So mm. even though it's Thanksgiving, you can't just take your uniform off, kick back. Ain't no totally unwind. Yeah. But I'm saying just kicking it, save for the people that can. Like, you know, I've been in predicaments to where it's like, yo, on Thanksgiving, our whole work section, like, had something, you know? But it's like, yo, if y'all work section not that tight, you could be there, but it's just going to be like, uh, in the military, we call it mandatory mandatory fun day. Yeah, it's going to be like that auntie that nobody really get along with. She's going to show up. She's going to get a little plate. She's going to stay for 10, 15 minutes. Then she go. Yeah. The same way. Um, <laughs> go to the little function or the, like the Christmas party or the Thanksgiving party. You show up, show face. Say yeah. hi to whoever needs to see you. And then you out. Yeah. It's the same feeling. And I mean, like I said, that's why this is rougher than this time of the year because everybody's doing it. You know, everybody's celebrating something. Yeah. Everybody happy for another reason. Mm. You just can't partake. So it gets a little bit rough for this round around this part of the year. Uh, any uh, before we uh, go out, I gotta call other people. Uh, any uh, words of encouragement, inspiration, um, especially either for the, for Thanksgiving or just the holidays in general. Uh, it's a quick tip. I can't think of the name of the program, um, but it's a uh, it's a program out there that pays a portion, like people donate money to get uh, troops flights home or whatever around this time of year. I can't think of the name of it, but I'm going um, to Google it once I got the phone with you because you put me on spot. <laughs> Google it, and then I'm going to text it to you. So if you um, you just put that, throw that out there later on for anybody that's listening. Um, but, yeah, it's a program that does, uh, I think it's Vet Ticks or Tickets for Vets or something like that. It's not the um, full sporting game, but they do flights. Okay. So they help pay for flights for troops to go home during the holidays. 
Um, take advantage of that. Look into that. You know, try to plan your your holidays around that. If you short on funds or whatever, they help you with that. Or um, just come out of your element and just bond with somebody that you work with. You know what I mean? Um, it may not be the most ideal situation, but sometimes when you get out of that comfort zone, you go out and mingle, man. You find out that you really have more in common with the people that you work with than you think you do. You just gotta get out there, and, you know, say and branch out a little bit. Yeah, I mean that's what the military is about. It's just a big melting po- mel- melting pot of people. Yeah, I said your best experience is gonna come from uh, networking. Yeah, oh, so, I love networking. People don't realize network. it, but <laughs> network, they network. Don't realize it till you do it. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But uh, I want to say a uh, happy Thanksgiving or happy Turkey Day. I want offend. Oh no, no, I, I'm not offended. Dog. You ain't gonna offend me by none of that. I'm not one of those that. <laughs> Say happy Hanukkah to somebody. I'm not offended. All right, uh, I'm gonna get with you about a a podcast. I got thoughts written down. I just gotta, yeah, put them to paper, and then we'll go from there. All right. Once again, your boy Floyd. I don't know if he did my introduction before he was talking shit about me or whatever. But um, just hit yeah, man. Let me know. Whatever you wanna do, just let me know. All right, got you. All right, bro. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Hanukkah. Turkey Day, Pilgrim Day, whatever you celebrate, or just happy Thursday for you if you don't. <laughs> yeah. All right, bro. Be easy. All right, you too, boss man. All right, bro. All right. Good luck. And so that was Ford, right hand, right there. That's somebody I really talked to about, you know, the whole uh, stock market. Like, yeah, we go as deep. Like I said, networking is key. Like, if you don't network, then, like, what are you doing? So now I'm about to call the homie Trav. I see what Travis is talking about. So, Trav in uh, Jack in Jacksonville, Florida, a.k.a. Jack and Kill, Florida. I see what Trav is talking about. What's going on, Trav? Man, in the kitchen right now, making a gumbo for tomorrow. <laughs> uh, what's the Migos uh, in the kitchen whipping up like Popeye? Uh, you already know, bro. <laughs> so, okay, so... Uh, so you cooking, wifey cooking, or y'all? It's a joint effort. It's a joint effort. Um, wifey marinated the turkeys uh, Monday night, so they've been sitting in the juices and the, the seasoning smelling good. Nigga, so since wifey, Monday. I got, listen. What? Wifey, that's how you do it. Oh, okay. Po- Monday, I thought I thawed them shits out. I let them out Sunday night. Let them thaw it all the way fuck out Monday night. And she put all the Spanish seasoning on there. And it was good to go, dog. You know what I'm saying? Hey, it is, hey, I, I'm not mad at it at all. Good. So, so y'all gonna have a little like uh, mad rice and beans? Nah, nah, nah. It's gonna be hella black. <laughs> He's like, nah, you ain't taking over this year. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be hella black. You know what I'm saying? Um, no, no coquito. like a mash of cultures now but you said you're going to kind of keep it black or african-american uh so like what is the, um what i'm trying to say like any thanksgiving tradition that maybe you grew up on or have you come up with you know since uh you and wifey been together Yeah, I, I know. 
the goddamn uh what's what's the potato the yucas? Yeah, her mom making yucca tomorrow too. Ah, ah, ah. I love some goddamn yucas. I seen some yucas like that. The last time I seen you for your little for the housewarming thing, uh, I wound up going to the grocery store. They had yucca, but it was frozen. It was at Publix or whatnot. I I wound up getting it, but it wasn't the same because it was frozen. You know. Yucca gotta be. You gotta get that yucca like. Oh. And you can't get that straight out the grocery store. You so got to be fresh. Yeah. Unless you from the Spanish store where they in there cooking it. <laughs> I got you. So uh, another reason for the podcast is basically like, uh, I remember when we met in, in Italy, Sigonella, Sigonella, Italy or whatnot. By that time, I was already used to, you know, hold on, my bad. I had to get the Henny real quick, I'll pour up again. <laughs> but uh, I was already kind of used to not being home for Thanksgiving, like at that point. Now, I, I want to say for the same for you a little bit. I'm not sure. But uh, I, I, I don't think people kind of realize like the effect that it may have to, you know, some, certain military personnel that, that aren't able to make it home. Like for some people, that could be like low key depressing. Would you agree? Yeah. my second my third year in the Navy mm -hmm. and uh, I wasn't able to go home for Thanksgiving and I had nowhere to go like all, all, all the cats I really chilled with they went back home so I was kind of like solo doers kind of you know what I mean and, and maybe it hit me cause I was like dang like you know at, th at this point I'm, I'm with the family you yeah. know what I mean like did your 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 uh section your your work section they didn't do anything for y'all? I mean, a couple of them, but you know me, like if I don't rock with you like that, I really ain't gonna fool with you outside of work. Yeah. You know, so that's it. You being in the military, you you definitely sacrifice the uh the quality time of family, really. It's, uh, the ups with holidays. Uh, even the downs with funerals. I don't. I don't miss probably like three, four funerals. Mm. That, uh, you know what I'm saying? Being in the military and it, it kills you. Yeah. You're like, dang, you didn't even get the chance to to see this person before they in the ground. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. And, and sometimes yeah. life just hits you or whatnot. That's why you know, as of right now, you know, as we get older kind of blessed to to grow up in you know the generation that we are in now because of technology yeah i understand you know some of our grandparents don't may not understand it to the fullest extent but at least we have it to where it's like yo you know somebody would like one of your cousins to go to your grandfather or your mother great grandfather house somebody got an iphone so it's like yo facetime me <laughs> while you're over there For me, it ain't the it ain't the same. Yeah, it ain't the it's, at least it's something though. It's, it's like going to the Dodge dealership and be like, yo, I'm finna get the Charger, and then instead of getting the Hemi, you just get the V6. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> but at the end of the day, you know, you get something. You know what I'm saying? It's it's all good. Just 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 get the opportunity to, to talk on the phone or Facetime. You know what I'm saying? It's better than nothing. Yeah, it's better than writing them letters. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's way better than writing them letters. Mm. For real, for real. Yeah. Shoot, I, did, I, did a, uh, I did a Thanksgiving on deployment. Actually, take that back. I did two Thanksgivings. One on deployment. One on a ship and one in Djibouti. And, you know, it sucks. The food was good. Don't get me wrong, but it ain't the same. Yeah. Oh yeah, I, I know. Yeah. Trust me. Yeah, it ain't the same when you when you used to hear your uh, crazy uncles talking about back in the day, and you know you you sipping henny with the cousins, or you taking that that trip to the store, or that walk down the street with your <laughs> with your boys. That you secret know? trip. Yeah, <laughs> you know it, it ain't it ain't the same. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, but definitely, I definitely take advantage of it. Um, one of the things I like to do, my uh, my biological grandfather, he was murdered when my mother was two. 
Mm-hmm. But what I like to do is once a year, whether it be Thanksgiving or Christmas, I sit down with my grandmother and I ask her to tell me something about my biological grandfather, and I get the that knowledge from uh, from her mm. and learn about him since I didn't have the experience of meeting him, which. Yeah, it, it sucks, but at the same time, like, my grandfather now is awesome, you know what I'm saying? He did a great job yeah. taking care of me or whatever, you know what I mean? So, but, yeah, I try to, I take, yeah, I take, I don't take holidays for granted. There we go. You can't, you can't take no holiday, uh, no family time, period, for granted, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So. Mm, that's dope. I like it. <laughs> that is dope. That is dope. But uh, I'm going to let you get back in the kitchen, whipping it up like Papa. <laughs> <laughs> Happy uh, Turkey Day. Happy Thanksgiving. I don't know which one to say. I don't want to offend you. I, I, call it, I call it Turkey Day. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't really say Thanksgiving. Okay. I don't do the Columbus Day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't go by that uh, that bullshit curriculum that the, you know, the United States government tried to force on us. I don't, I don't go by that. Okay. Go by that. Go by the truth. What's up? You in you in uh, Bmore or you in uh, Georgia? Yeah, I'm in, I'm in Baltimore with the family. Okay, okay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Enjoy that nose cold as shit. Yeah, yo, it's, it's gonna be like 30 tomorrow, and it ain't gonna snow. And I'm like, what the hell? Oh. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Uh, what I was about to say, I might be close by you for the New Year's. We talking about hitting Jersey. <laughs> so if I make if if I make that move, I'll let you know. Jersey, Jersey, Jersey. 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 Okay, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, just let me know. Uh, we'll talk. We'll talk. For sure. I right, appreciate the phone call. Anytime, boss man. Holla. All right. All right. Take care. So that was Frere, Florida Brown baby. Like I said, Jack and Kill Florida. Let's call. Well, who else I got on the list? Who else? Let's call Jamitra. Let's see how she doing. Crazy. I, I don't know if it's a backstory. Oh, she don't got an iPhone. I think the last time I seen her was like, oh God, nope. Last time I seen her was back in 2011. Was about to deploy, but nope, nothing from her. Let's call the homie Steve. See what he talking about. Hopefully, y'all in the kitchen whipping it up. Uh, if you got more than three animals, I'm not coming to your house. Let's see what Steve talking about. I don't think it's sanitary enough for me. I don't think he's going to answer either. Or he might be at work. Yeah, I think Steve might be at work. Nope. Let's hit up the homie Damon. Let's see what he talking about. That's Damon, my right hand. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yo, what's going on, B? Chilling, bro. What's up with you? Nah, chilling just uh, on the podcast right now. So I got you on the podcast right on the spot, B. Like right now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> so uh, basically, I'm I'm just calling, calling all my folks and whatnot. You know, uh, talking about Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving traditions, and you know, stuff like that. Should I probably yeah. talk about you? Uh, not talk about you, but talk with you about you know the do's and don'ts. Like what dishes we don't want to see for Thanksgiving? What dishes we don't we don't want to see? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's dishes that we want to see, but we don't want to see them necessarily messed up. You feel? There we go. Explain some. So we don't want to see y'all weak macaroni. You feel me? <laughs> looking all wet and, and, and goofy out here. You feel me? We Yo, don't you want to see dry turkeys? Uh. You you can hear me? Yeah, I can. Hear you. Yeah, yeah, we don't want to see no dry turkeys. We want everything seasoned down to the bone, you feel me? And I don't want to see no no, no super weird stuff like 
This is my company with some spaghetti or something. <laughs> <laughs> that at home. Yo, yeah, what man. about like dishes like cream of corn or goddamn um, casseroles? Green nah, bean casserole. Nah, leave all the leave all the canned goods somewhere else, man. I, I need my stuff. You feel me? Made homemade. Mm. Cas- well, I ain't never had a casserole. I don't even know what that is. You feel me? We, <laughs> we get <ghetto> around here. <laughs> What about, like, desserts and stuff? Dessert? I mean, it depends. You feel me? Like, I don't know how big people is on pumpkin pie. I ain't never had that either. Mm-hmm. I am, so I don't know if that's good or not. But, like, you know, um, me personally, I love the uh, sweet potato pies. They always got to be there. Don't nobody need to bring them uh, Patty LaBelle pies. <laughs> <laughs> the Patty pies? The Patty pies. They got to be straight out the oven with me. You heard? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Got it, got it. So what you doing? Are uh, you gonna come to the crib? You still coming through tomorrow for? Oh, I'm definitely there. You know, um, my family. We unfortunately we not having you know a family Thanksgiving. Everybody is you know busy doing something right now. You know, everybody going like trips or cruises and stuff. So we just going um we just gonna be out here house hopping or something. Oh, I'm yeah. definitely coming through, bro. Okay, yo. So like um. What what was some like I guess some family traditions for Thanksgiving y'all used to do, or that y'all do? Um, I know as far as my like tradition goes, you feel me? Certain people make certain stuff and they always bring it to the house that we have in a function. Mm. You feel me? It's always that one cousin that got the Xbox ready to go to separate. You feel me from the rest of the family? We got another cousin that's always start controversial stuff um you know she get us talking get us riled up a little bit and um for the most part we always got that older head that want to kick that knowledge but we don't have nothing too too traditional outside of you feel me regular stuff mm. well i don't know like I, like i was saying earlier on uh the podcast i was like yo if you got more than three pets in your house i don't even want to come over like <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I don't want to come over. I already know what type of environment that is. Like, yeah. Like, you seen on, on uh, maybe Facebook and Instagram when they be like, work potlucks, and it's orange, and then you see that cat? Yup. <laughs> I'm like, oh, no. All nah, right. I mean, bro, like, if it's, if it's, it's one thing if your animals are, like, contained, but if your cat is really sitting on my shoulder while I'm eating, you know, scratching his nuts or something, like, that's crazy. Yeah. So... I mean, I, I just think people got to be mindful of what they bring around or, um, you know, have out, especially when Thanksgiving is being hosted at their house or so. Well, at least, like, yo, put the cats up, yo. Like, yo, exactly. put them in the back room, something. Like, yo, we do not need that to happen, like, at all. And, you know, uh, at first I used to kind of get on people for not be- being able to cook. But I will say this. Like, look, yo, Thanksgiving is not the day for you to be practice cooking. Like, yo, you had – Many, many Sundays and many, many Thursdays before to get what it needs to be going. But, like, yo, Thanksgiving is not the day to be, like, trying stuff out. Like, this is not an yeah. experiment, like, at all. Yeah, nah, in fact, those, they, they, and if you, and for the people out there that got girlfriends that don't cook on a regular and she just think, like, oh, I got a man, let me help in this kitchen, nah, this one out, you feel me? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, yo, remember that uh, episode on Martin? <laughs> I think when Gina cooked for the first time and the turkey was mad bloody. Yeah, they, the turkey was still alive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But nah, for real, for real. Like, yo, I know this might be the, the night before. Well, what? Hold on. Somebody hit my neck. I'm drunk as shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I suppose I'm calling people. So I'm, I'm like, yo, I've been like, I had it like my list in like chronological order. And now I'm just like skipping or whatnot. Yeah, but I, I was saying, like, yo, for the people that can't cook, yo, or it's, like, last minute, you may have a beef with your family, or, like, say, like, you may be that white boy from that Thanksgiving dinner, and, like, he just stood up and flipped the whole table, and the father was like, you're not part of this family type type of vibe, <laughs> type of vibe. Yo, in Baltimore, I don't know if it's anywhere else, but they have Southern Blues, well, not Southern Blues spot, restaurant, you, you know what, I, what that's at, D? Yeah, but so uh, Southern Blues, so the name, the the food is in the name, like a lot of like Southern foods or whatnot. 
But basically, they doing like a um, Thanksgiving type of package plan. If you pay like two hundred and nineteen dollars, they give you all the essentials cooked. Or yeah, it's cooked, but it's cold or whatnot. So all you gotta do is warm it up. So you can't fuck that up. And right. it feed about like fifteen to twenty people. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, I ain't never even heard of that, bro. Yeah, I was like, okay. yeah, cause we we picked up some shit on the law, so I ain't gonna say what side it was, but yeah, we <laughs> we, we picked it up on the law. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, I don't know. Um, shit. I mean, she said, "Nigga, I'm drunk as shit." Damn. Nigga, I'm trying. Oh, God, hold on. Let me, I, so I'm trying to figure out the, the caller or not. Yeah, I'm saying it's like it's like a two-minute call. Yo, so before I get out of here, yo, is it like any, like, because, you know, Thanksgiving, spending time with the family, uh, all of that good stuff, maybe like any words of encouragement, words of inspiration you want to give out to the folks if you can? Yeah, man, um, enjoy your family while they're here, bro. Don't let Thanksgiving be the only reason y'all hang out, you feel me? Um, you only get one family, accept them as best you can. Yeah, I know they crazy, especially if you got a black family. <laughs> they be wilding. But yeah, man, most definitely just encourage each other, talk to each other, get to learn your family, bro, like, because there's people out here without them. Yeah, and yo, for real, for real, even if you have that cousin that called that that cousin that called you a, a, a fat Kelly Price a couple Thanksgivings ago, yo, forgive her or forgive him. Yo, facts. <laughs> that's episode, by the way. Yo, forgive them because like, yo, you never know. That could have been like your last memory of them. Like for real, for real. Like you want some shit that like years down the line y'all could laugh about, you know? Thanks me that. So, yeah. So mm mm-hmm. But Yo, happy Turkey Day, happy Thanksgiving. I don't know which one to say. I don't want to uh, offend you or whatnot. So. <laughs> I'm a ratchet, you know. Yeah, no, not no <laughs> yeah but uh, I'm going to give you a holler in a few. Thanks, that. All, All right, right, yo. Easy, man. I'm get up with you. All right. Bring that 2K tomorrow. Thanks. All right. So, yeah, um, who we going to call next? So, Demetra, she's saying she drunk. Um, let's call Paul. Let's see. Paul might be at work, though. Contacts. So, Paul, he was in the Marine Corps with me as well. We watched battle raps together. Paul traveled more places now than he was in the Marine Corps. Ain't gonna answer. Oh, Yo. oh, he answered. Yo. Oh, he answered. <laughs> yes, sir. Of course, of course. Oh, uh, Gumbar Prince. Oh, oh, yeah, you know we still around. I said it, yo. Okay, you on the podcast? Go ahead, spit some bars. Just because I ain't in the gun club no more, don't mean I won't bring a gun. Oh, because you know I come through. And, oh, 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 oh. I, don't I, I don't think they was ready. I don't think they ready. I don't think they ready. Yeah, I'm saying. Oh, I'm on the podcast. Oh, what up, podcast? You know what I'm saying. Unpredictable thoughts. Unpredictable thoughts. <laughs> it, saying, OG subscribers know I was there. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so I'm so I'm calling just, you know, Thanksgiving. No Thanksgiving coming up. Uh, you cooking? You whipping up? Uh, no, nah, I ain't whipping shit up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> my, my cooking, I ain't. It ain't Thanksgiving good. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, man, I just, I'm just going to play the cut. You know, jump from house to house, get place to place. And that's going to be that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So what's been going on? Like any uh traditions or whatnot you follow for? Nah, you know. We don't get all dressed and eat at the center table. <laughs> 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 yeah, 
they were the family of the Warriors out there, you know, the food cook, you know, we had the family come over, we chat, have fun, you know what I'm saying, and that, that, that. Yeah. You know, not, not spectacular anymore, we just, you know. So is it. But you already know, hold on. Go ahead. Back dropping them two uh, battles on Thanksgiving, so I will be tuning in the news. Yeah. So, yo, you know. the one on December, December 8th or the 15th or the 18th? Uh, it's, it's December 15th, but you know, uh, you know, the volume is like invite only type shit. It ain't no like. Shit. Shit. You know, it ain't no. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Like, you know, invite only because you know it's the old bill. Uh, uh, smack how it used to be where just the background just used to be like battle rappers and whatnot. So, God, uh, trust me, I wanted to go too. <laughs> Damn, like yo, the, the time that I have like the most free time, this one smack won't be all bougie and shit. Like, yo, I'm going to London, I'm going to Vegas, invite only, I'm yeah. going to Houston. <laughs> yeah, oh, I was think I couldn't go to London, man. I'd have been mad for real, for real, just I because. Know, I was just because Tay Rock yeah. choked, I'm like, what? Yo, that's what I'm saying. I was so pissed I couldn't go. Mm. Oh, man. But, yo, as far as spending Thanksgiving or whatnot, that's not your first one since uh, being in the military, right? Because you went home before while you were in the military. Correct me if I'm wrong. No, not, not for Thanksgiving. I went to my aunt's house in Atlanta for Okay. Yeah, so this is probably like my second one. Oh, shit. And you know? the vibes yeah. is completely different. You don't got to fake the funk. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Worried about being on duty the next uh next month exactly. for saying something wrong. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, they was actually going to put me. I was, might have been put on the funeral detail that day, so you know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 yeah so so i guess like kind of my point for the podcast right now just you know just calling all my people i'll make sure they good uh seeing what they doing uh any thanksgiving traditions that they may have and also um just kind of exposed to the world like yo how hard thanksgiving can be towards you know you know with service members the military members everybody can't go home Shit, everybody ain't trying to be with their work section either. <laughs> exactly, that's what I'm saying. Like, it, it's tough, especially when you got like people you don't mess with, like in your unit or in your work section or whatever, and they they like open their house to everyone, but you just feel like that's a chess move to make them look better. Oh in yeah, because you know, you know, you know, for real, for real, y'all not really like that. <laughs> so for them, like, it's, it's, that's too much fake love. And then, like, you know, sometimes you won't be able to go home because they ain't got nobody to cover for duty and they didn't approve your team or whatever the case may be. And now you just sitting there. So, like, remember that time we had that? Oh, we, on <laughs> Thanksgiving, yo. And then, and then we had that trash place. <laughs> yo, you brought some memories back, yo. <laughs> oh, my God. When I say that was the most trash Thanksgiving plate I ever had. Yo, who the fuck gave carrots on goddamn Thanksgiving, yo? They had, like, carrots and, and peas and, and, and not even corn on the cob. It's like cream, cream of corn. corn. Yeah. Cream corn, like canned corn. With, like, with like sliced turkey, like it wants me to something. Yo, I was so pissed, like, yo. That was the, that was the worst play I ever had. <laughs> yo, I <laughs> forgot that about that it until you said something. Star. But they wound up having food by the time we went to the barracks, though. So that was good. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, the the food at the barracks, some of it was all right. You know, and then you get to your little little casseroles. You know. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's that shit. So garbage. <laughs> and I was I was talking to my homeboy Damon earlier. I was like, Yo, what are the, like the the? Cause you you a foodie, Paul. Yeah, you a foodie. Yes, sir. So okay, yes, sir. what are some uh? Some no go dishes. Dishes you don't want to see for Thanksgiving. This is, this is I don't want to see for Thanksgiving. 
give it. First off, if the, if it's not seasoned whatsoever, it's not going on my plate. Well, that's first and foremost. You know what I'm saying? Now, the the, the uh, you got it's it's level to the turkey. Okay, let's hear it. You know what I'm saying? I want the turkey that looked like that looked goddamn like chicken. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? I don't want those sliced turkey like it's lunch meat. Yeah. That's a no go. That's a no go. Now, with your vegetables, you know what I'm saying? It ain't just no. It's corn on the cob. You feel what I'm saying? It's corn on the cob. You know what I'm saying? I understand you got some of your mixed veggies. You know what I'm saying? If you, if you got the broccoli in there, I want some cheese on that mug. There we go. You know what I'm saying? Not no, not no, just broccoli with some cut carrots. You know what I'm saying? I understand if you got some dishes prepared with like cut carrots and stuff, you know, because that's how like my mom prepares her like uh, uh, curry chicken. Yeah. And things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? Um, let me see. What else is there? Ah, uh, hold on. I'm trying to think off the top of my head right now. Uh, I don't want to see no casseroles. Yeah, no, no, no casseroles. The bear. Mine uh-uh. is no casseroles, and if you're gonna make macaroni and cheese, I better not see no cheese slices on there. Oh no, 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 no! First of all, if you're making cheese ain't baked, there that's a no. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I understand if you got your little. If you cook it for yourself in the bear, you know what I'm saying? It ain't no oven. All right. That's you can make that shit happen. I, I used to make some shit happen. You did, but you know, <laughs> it was niggas like me that didn't invest in the oven. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? But if this is a family event, the mac and cheese has to be baked. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Yeah. I need fried chicken. Ooh. For sure. Mm-hmm. That's all I can think of. I need some type of pie. Patty pie? <laughs> that that could make the that could make the cut. That could make the cut. <laughs> that could make the cut. And I definitely need some cornbread. Oh, Jiffy Mix. I for sure, I for sure need some cornbread. You know what I'm saying? You gotta you gotta level it out a little bit, you know what I'm saying? That bring a little sweetness to your plate. Yeah, especially when uh when the goddamn macaroni and cheese touch the yams? Yams? Oh. Exactly. Oh. Exactly. I'm hungry now. Go in my plate. See, that's all that's all that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? You gotta you gotta do it right. You gotta dress it up right. Yeah. But yo, uh you have like uh 'cause you know a lot of military, you know, aren't able to go home and things of that nature. So, like, any words of encouragement, inspiration you want to give to the folks in the podcast land? Man, to my folks that can't go home, run it up on them when they need you the most, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> them these days, when they need you the most, need to go, just, just bring up Thanksgiving. You feel me? Because at the end of the day, some of them some of them do care, but mostly they care for what you can do for them. This is a testimony to see what they'll do for you when you need to go. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You, you put, don't, don't put your all out there for somebody that's not putting it all out for you. You always got to know your worth because if you don't, they'll, they'll, they'll keep abusing your kind nature against you. Yeah. You know, it, it, it might end up them not liking you. And if they don't like you because you want to do things, you want to handle personal things on their time and they won't show you some understanding, not even the slightest bit, then, you know what I'm saying? You got one of two choices. Go somewhere else or go on. Mm. Yo, that was that was kind of deep from a real nigga's perspective, Paul. Like I wasn't really expecting. You, you feel me? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I got, I got, I got. You know what I'm saying? Dig deep sometimes. Yeah. 
but uh, yeah. No, what you doing with the Thanksgiving? Uh, sir? I'm I'm whipping it up a little bit. You know, still got the cooking for singles cam going on, Snapchat. Okay. okay. <laughs> so you. Camera. Yeah, only on camera. So, so we whipping <laughs> it up. Uh, I hit up, I hit up Jones or whatnot. I was like, you know, cause his his situation. So I was like, yo, you know, uh, yeah. If you want to come through, let me know. So he said he got me. So I was like, all right, but yeah, yeah. shit. If anybody um, want to come um, through, if you want to take that drive, come through. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I could take that flight, sir. Oh, uh, uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> That, that fifteen minute flight. <laughs> you, you know, you know. You don't even gotta put on your your seat belt for that shit. Hell no. <laughs> Goddamn. Um, how was that? How was the ball? I didn't know you was going to the New Orleans ball. Yeah, I told you because you you said uh, if I was going, uh, where you gonna be at for the ball? I was like, yo, I'm not going to uh, Albany ball. I wind up going to the New Orleans ball. I didn't know you were going to New Orleans though. Oh. I probably Oh shit! I, th- I swear I thought I said something about it. Nah, I know you said you wasn't going to Albany. Yeah, my apologies for it. It was good. I mean, it was a little boring, but like, I mean, all balls yeah. are kind of boring. But like, at least I wasn't in the ceremony. <laughs> I got yeah, to, yeah, you know. I got to enjoy it again from a uh, viewer's point of view. It's a buffet style, and yeah, and I was. Yeah, I- uh, just from Thursday to Saturday. The ball was Friday, so. Okay. okay yeah, it was a very, very quick trip. Yeah, yeah, so like. Nothing too crazy. <laughs> exactly. But I, I talked, yeah. I, I talked to you about it in detail. I still got some people to call for this podcast. All right, one quick question though. Yeah. If you could, would you ever go back and visit Albany? <sighs> or or Albany or Tallahassee? Tallahassee. If the right people were there, I would go back to Albany. Yeah, if the if, if the right people was there, I would I would go back. I mean, they're there now. Don't get me wrong, but like they gotta have yeah. like stuff lined up. Like, yo, we gonna do this. We gonna do that. We gonna do that. Yeah, yeah. Cause I was think I was thinking about going back around there, like Tallahassee or something. I mean, they only like an hour difference from each other, so it ain't bad or whatnot. But you know, you, you know, you know what I'm going for. <laughs> yeah, to go see the base right, again. We ain't, we ain't gonna, we ain't to go see the base. Yeah, to go see the base. I'm gonna, yeah. call, I'm gonna call you back, Paul. <laughs> I call you back. <laughs> All right, all right, yo. Yeah, so that's the homie, Paul, yo. Paul is crazy. So let's let's see, let's see if we could finally. I'm a Facetimer. See if we could finally get her on the line, cause she been ducking and dodging, and drinking. I know she like. Why is this motherfucker calling me Facetime? Nope. I'm live on it, too. That's the thing that sucks. Hey! Yo. <laughs> Yo, you lit. What up, what up? What's up, what's up? Yeah, I saw I was telling people earlier, like, when I tried to call you the first time, I was like, yo, I haven't seen her since, like, 2010 when, yeah, we, was about to, when, when we was about to deploy. And last thing she was like, I ain't going on this deployment. And everybody looked like, what? <laughs> I had a little fun in the oven, you know what I'm saying? I, I had a little bakery going on. Nobody, you ain't tell nobody. I was like, <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. <laughs> so you cooking? I mean, I'm doing a little something. I don't know if you would classify it as cooking. You know what I'm saying? I'm not chef. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get rich and hire somebody to cook for me. That's all that matters. Are you warming it up? Huh? Are you warming it up? No, I'm actually like cooking like from scratch. And I called my mama in Georgia. She said a few words to me over the 
phone and you know i'm gonna let all the negro spirituals just kind of help me out to bless the, the bless your skills like, yeah bless all the food yeah. <laughs> As, what, I'm on. What, what you drinking on And she told me about like this mix of Malibu and pineapple. So today, I usually drink wine, but I was like, nah, because if I drink wine, I'm going to go to sleep. But I want to be up tonight because I got to cut the food. So I was like, well, what can I get? And I was like, oh, I'll get the Malibu. So I got some little Malibu and some pineapple, you know what I'm saying? Mmm. Oh, so I'm drinking, yeah. I'm drinking uh, the Henny White oh, to get course, you right. Of course you are. That's, that's your brand. Yeah. I got you. I got you. Yeah, it, it is <laughs> my brand. Good. So it's Thanksgiving, yo. So you, you you whipping it up. Uh, any family traditions? You got the whole family and all that. So anything. So like a two part question. So is it, it's like, cause you're on the podcast live right now. So is it like anything what? that that you grew up on? That's a tradition that you can remember. And also, is it anything that you bring to your family right now as a tradition? Cause you have kind of younger but older kids. You get what I'm saying? like the night before and uh, we still be late the next day but that's all right because we you know we start the night before and it matters but i think um, i don't really have tradition i think one of the things that i'm actually trying to make a tradition is allowing my kids to be in the kitchen with me because when i was younger i wasn't allowed to be in the kitchen hence why i barely know how to cook right now so i like like i have two daughters and i kind of want them in the kitchen helping me make the stuff so that it can be a tradition that they learn how to be in the kitchen and cook with me when yeah. I, when I, yeah. See, see you're brave. You're brave. Yeah. And the reason why I say that is because I saw it to my homeboy earlier. I was like, yo, Thanksgiving is not the day to be testing out your skills. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you're not brave. So I'm going to say your husband's brave for. They don't got like Boston Market out there or something that do like the I things. Mean, I, they do, but they might be closed. So I don't know. I know McDonald's gonna be open twenty four seven. So it's all else fails, but I hope not to fail. I think I called my mom. She gave me some. My mom's in Georgia right now. She's born and raised in Georgia. She gave me some really good strategies. So I'm gonna take her advice. I've been watching YouTube all day. I got. I got. I got some. <laughs> Yeah, I was about to say you you got hella connections, especially in uh yeah. the world that you in now. Yeah, I got lots of connects. Yeah. So, I think I'll be all right. Yeah, you should be good. It should, nobody should be dying from salmonella, E. coli, yeah. nothing like that. No, we gonna cook it though. It might it might get burnt. Like at least you know it's done. Exactly. I mean that's the whole point. <laughs> that's it. At least that's you at least you know it's done. <laughs> So another one of my questions is, is like, you know, uh, veteran, you're a veteran. Yes, uh-uh. yes, I'm a veteran. So it's like, uh, so you kind of know how hard it, well, I don't know recently, but you know, back then when you were in, how hard it was to be away from family during the holidays or Thanksgiving. So I want, I want you to kind of speak on that from the military's Actually, perspective. Still, so it's still a thing because my husband, the only, we're in Minnesota right now. The only reason we're in Minnesota is because my husband got orders here. What yeah, do you do? Don't have, yeah, I didn't. We didn't know. So we had to pull out the map. We was like, "Where the hell is Minnesota at?" Okay, it's not <laughs> even that. What does he do? If you don't mind me, he's at the maps right now. Here, yeah. you admin. Yeah. Okay, dope. So we came out here. We don't have family here, and it's still. Even though I'm not active anymore, it's still a thing to where it's when the holidays comes. It's like you. You want to establish relationships with people, but you know that it's going to come to an end very soon. So you try not to put yourself in a position of being vulnerable and establishing these relationships. And the problem that causes is like during this time of the year, it's like, well, we don't really have anybody that we can, you know, have Thanksgiving with, have Christmas with. So we're just basically in here by ourselves. And social media kind of makes things better because you're able to like look upon your family kind of together, but it still makes things sad because you're just like, damn, you're not all there. Y'all are- together with these places and shit. we all the way up in here damn near next to canada and by ourselves so yeah it can be pretty tough it can even if you're not active if you're married if you're in any way affiliated to the military
military at all, you're always going to feel that. Unless you luck up and get stationed close to your family, you're always going to feel that void where it's like, damn, like I wish I were home during this time of the year. And the way, one of the ways I like to combat that is like, like I said earlier, trying to start new traditions with my family so I can kind of take it and make it my own. So I can say, you know what? Maybe I'm not missing out on anything if I'm creating something new. Yeah. Yeah. That's dope as hell. I like that. Cheers. I don't know if you need any more. (laughs) Well, I like that cup. Yeah, it's a copper cup. Amazon. I I love, you know, I love my my, uh, decor and my fashion. Yeah, so uh, Amazon, it's a copper cup. So you put it in the freezer or whatnot, keeps your drink cold. Yeah. Well, I'm going on to Amazon as soon as we hang up. Okay, okay, cool. Uh, my little shopping cart is full of hell right now. <laughs> <laughs> clear stuff out there. Like, <laughs> uh, my my last thing for you is, uh, I still got some other people to call, is uh, just to plug in. Cause I, I want to do a podcast with you in general. Like, it's so much okay. stuff because I, I watched you and I was like, yo, this is yeah. dope. So it's like, uh, I want you to plug in your real estate stuff. So is it like uh, any like social media, phone number in, to yeah, get in contact okay. with you? So, I'm a little, I get, so the thing is, and this is what I've learned, when you're attractive and you are in business, it's so hard to determine to, to decipher who is really trying to do business with you and who's just like trying to get your number because they want to holler at you. So I, I discern, like I don't readily give my number out. But my email address for uh, selling houses is J Nicole. That's J N I C O L E Grant at Edina E D I N A Realty dot com. And then for land acquisitions, if you're interested in buying land, if you and your family want to get together and learn how you guys can pull your money together to buy like forty acres of land, that's Carbon Solutions with the K K A R B O N Solutions LLC dot com. I can answer all of your questions there. We um, Both my Edina Realty and Carbon Solutions has a Facebook page and also on Twitter and I'm on Instagram. Mm. So, so, so when Facebook. I post this podcast, can I just, uh, in my description when I post it, can I put those websites on there? Yeah, to- absolutely. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Absolutely. Beans. So how, like if one yeah. wanted to invest 
this is my last one. This is my last. I, I promise. So, <laughs> so somebody wanted to invest into Carbon Solutions. Could they? At the moment, we are not currently accepting um, investors. We have actually um, acquired five different properties, five um, pieces of land, and we're not selling it. We're not looking for new investors, mostly because we are in the second phase of our diamond project. And what we're currently doing is we're um, shopping our project around to like the University of Minnesota. Um, there's a, a brand new um Credit union, all black owned credit union. Okay. The fund. So through there, and we're actually working with the Greater Twin Cities United Way to get like a three year uh, funding, three year grant from them. So we're actually in the, in the process of receiving funding from uh, different organizations to where we are not really looking for new investors because that would kind of, it would force us to kind of split to split more profits. And yeah. so we, what we want to do is we want to secure more funding before we actually turn around and do that. So at this moment, you cannot. Damn, invest. that's what I was looking for. You can donate, however, if you would like to donate to the cause. And people have done. People have actually just said, you know what, I just want to, I think what you're doing is amazing. And you know what, I want to give you $40. And we have a GoFundMe that um, is on it's on my Instagram. It's on our um, Facebook page where you can go if you want to get $3, $2. $50, people have done it. Just give us money and say, hey, you know what? We like what you're doing. We love the idea of you actually, like, because um, the project, well, I've always wanted to own a farm. So it was my idea. This uh, the, the center of this idea was based upon me wanting to own a farm since I was a kid. But it also goes back to that um, minorities don't really have access, don't have control over the food system. So when we talk about health, we talk about, you know, having access to quality food, not McDonald's, not Burger King, but actually, you know, having a, if you go into a predominantly white neighborhood, you're going to run into a the, whole food. Yeah, whole food. If you go into a, a predominantly black neighborhood, you're going to have some chain food restaurants where you don't know where their produce is coming from. You don't know if it's organic. You know, you don't know if there's pesticides in it. So we're trying to get back to that, that, um, historical Bring me. The historical um, honor, actually, if you will, honor, because our ancestors they they crossed, and it was a, it was a, it's a special thing to be able to grow your own food to know where your food comes from. So that's where the project that's where the project kind of that's the foundation of the project. Mm. So people are saying, you know what, we love the idea of a minority actually getting back out to the field to do something for themselves, to have something to give to themselves, to have to some, to have something to give to the community. And also another unique thing about our project is that, and a lot of people don't know this, uh, my organization has eight different partners. None of the partners live in the same state. So we're like Minnesota, Philly, um, Texas. We have some in California. So being able to be, a satellite company, if you will, where we for the 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 um, we're licensed in Minnesota, but the partners are working from different areas of the U.S. And it kind of shows that when people say, "Well, you know, black people they don't like to work together," we're we're debunking that theory right now yeah. because we have people in all different areas of the of the nation that are coming together and say, "You know what? I want to give you a part of my paycheck. I want to come and I want to show up every Sunday to these weekly meetings and." and figure out how to make this company a success. So that shit dope. Yeah, I want I wanna get deeper into that. Damn that shit dope. <laughs> From goddamn veteran in the Marine Corps to goddamn real estate to her own land. This is dope. Black women ruling it. That's what we do, you know what I'm saying? I wanna say uh good luck to you in that kitchen. Like I cook it and it ain't gonna be none of y'all business, okay? <laughs> there you go. I wanna say y'all happy turkey day or and or happy Thanksgiving. I don't wanna offend you. I don't know. Happy or happy Thanksgiving to you and your listeners. Thanks for doing this podcast. Your podcast is amazing. I love it. It's thank, like top five. Thank you, thank you. We don't be talking All about right. shit, but thank you. <laughs> All right, take care. All right, you too. Bye. Bye. All right. Damn, that that was dope. Yo, own land.
yo, to own land, that that is really crazy in this world that we live in. Um, hold on, let me. If I got Foster, hold on. Any of y'all, hold on. Any of, I'm gonna do about two more calls, and that's it. If not, I'm gonna just call my uncle real quick. Let's see what he's doing. It's not like family. Let's see what he's talking about. I don't think he's going to answer. He might be Hello? Asleep. Hello? 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 I think I got the wrong number. Sorry. Crazy, I had the wrong number. Hey, yo, yo what's going on, Baji? I'm chilling. I'm getting off work. Okay, so uh, right now I'm doing a podcast. So I was calling, you know, just a lot of people, random people, but not really because I got them listed down on a piece of paper. So I just called them in random order, I guess. But uh. All right. <laughs> But yeah, so we doing the podcast right now. So, you know, we just talking about Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving traditions, and, you know, things to that nature as well. So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up. So, what you got with you right now? Huh? Who are you doing the podcast with right now? I'm, I'm, I'm in the, the basement by myself. <laughs> just okay. on, on, yeah. oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got you. That's what's up. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Well, no, no. So I, I've been calling people. I've been like on the phone talking to people. So like I'm, I'm like, yeah. So it's been good conversation. So, yeah. So basically, you know, like I said, you know, Thanksgiving tradition. So uh, I know we did the podcast 98 on the Truman. Yeah. You, you was kind of talking about your uh, adulthood and, and moving on. But like what are some. um, What is it? Damn. What are some like Thanksgiving traditions that uh you used to do like when you were younger? Or that you could uh, remember? Thanksgiving when you younger? Yeah. And know, as like, you get older, you know. Well, I remember like when we were younger, I guess we used to just have it at the house. And then I guess as like I guess we just have it like uh Papa, my dad, he would cook or mama my mom, mom nano. We'll cook, we'll have Thanksgiving dinner, but I'm saying that, like, as time went on, I guess it started to gravitate towards North Carolina to where it would be down there visiting with family and friends, and then, I guess, within the past couple of years where it just went from house to house, like, one year Papa would do it, and then, or then your mom would do it, or then I would do it, and stuff like that, now since we got houses and stuff like that, our own places, so... Honestly, to be honest, which I can't even remember really, because it's just like so, so, it was like so long ago. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think the last time I remember, like, if I could like dig down deep as far as like the my younger age, I just remember always going down, down like you said, North Carolina, go down Granddad House on Kibbe Drive. Yeah. So yeah, like. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't think I ever uh, any Thanksgiving. I don't think I ever had any down down there when he was. Uh, because I think the most recent one that I remember is when we had the one at Nan's house with the picture of me, you, and Trey. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's the most, like, that's, well, I can remember other ones, but that's, like, just the most one that stood out to me because we didn't have, like, this traditional food. Yeah. Like, we just had a, a bunch of, some, a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah. So it was just weird. It was just weird, and uh, I guess when Papa was, I guess when he cooked last time, he cooked when we went to uh, well, his dad's house, his dad, um, they, the house they grew up in, and everything like that. And that's what was that? What old? Was that the year before? 
before or I know I had to be the year before I moved back to Coburn, whatever, a year or two before that. So remember The last time I the last time I was there was like oh seven, like for that Thanksgiving. I think that was like oh seven, oh eight, because that's when I announced that I was joining the Marine Corps. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. And, and pop up yeah. he was like Oh, okay. He's like, that's what's up. I was like, I know he angry inside. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's right. Yeah. I know that's right. Oh, man. Yeah, it's just, it's just crazy. It, now, like, now, honestly, to me, to me, like, Thanksgiving don't even feel the same. It don't even feel the same. Like, like how it used to. Like, it used to just be, like, so wonderful. Now, it just feels like, I guess, where everything is such on the go. It's like on the move. It's like, it's not enjoyed as it, it's not as enjoyable as it used to be. See, I'm not like with me. It's just the food. Like after a while, it's like yo, for real, for real. If you really break it down, like especially you come from like a very religious, like I just say Baptist or whatnot. What he cook like every Sunday, that big you know Sunday dinner. I'm like yo, for real, for real. Yeah. Like yo, Thanksgiving is a Sunday dinner times like three or five. You know, like that's all yeah, it is yeah. to me. Yeah, pretty much, because that's like when growing up, when I was growing up, and I was just go down to North Carolina, stay with uh, Papa's parents, stuff like that. Like that would be the like the thing to do. Like after church, like you just cook a bunch of food, and y'all just sit around the family, come over, y'all talk and enjoy. So it's like it's no different from Thanksgiving, really. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like yeah. it's a Sunday. You're giving thanks to Jesus for all that He's done for us. Whatever, but Thanksgiving is on a Thursday. You know what I mean? So, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty much, yeah, like you said, it's just a big ass family Sunday dinner. Pretty much. Sunday like, dinner on a Thursday. Yeah. I think that's like, what the what, name of the podcast is about to be. <laughs> yeah, you see what I'm saying? Because guess what? You had the same thing that you would on a Sunday. You got football. Football is played on Thursday, Thanksgiving. Yeah. You know what I mean? You got, you're around your family, your folks. It's like, yeah. So it's, you know what I mean? Like, but. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I, yeah, I get it. Yeah. I don't know. Mm, it is what it is. Are you still coming up tomorrow? Yeah, I'm probably going to have to work for a little bit. I should be up there in the afternoon. But you know what you should do now? No, now. What? You should put that on the shirt now. What? Uh, what you just said, which is going to name the podcast. What is it called? Uh, I don't know. I've been drinking. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, a third. Uh, uh, Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. Shoot, it's been a long, it's been a long ass day. I tell you that, man. Uh, uh, uh no. Sunday, Sunday dinner on Thursday. Yeah, you should put that on. You should put that on shirt or something. Mm. I'm right then. Yeah, I got, it. I got you on the hats. Yeah, it's in the bags. Uh, is that is that deal still going on? Oh. Going for the 199 thing? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it should be. Yeah. I, uh, either I might get it tomorrow. I might. If, the, Cause you going to New York or you don't know? Yeah, I'm going to New York tomorrow. Cause I might actually just can you just pick it up and just bring it up to the house. Well, let me know now, and then I'll just go ahead and do it now for that. Well, well, it's, well if I do it now, it's late. Yeah, that's because I. If, I'm saying, like, you'll get up, you'll be, like, the taxes up there, like, taxes will eat your ass up in New York. Oh, for real? Yeah. Matter of fact, what? The stores, the stores, the stores ain't gonna be open tomorrow, is they? Uh, I'm not, I'm not sure. Because if it is, I can just do it to a Best Buy that's close to you. You can just pick it up yourself. Okay. We'll, we'll you figure it I mean? out, because you say you'll be in the afternoon, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. we'll so, figure it out then. How about that? All right. Yeah. But <laughs> I'm about to, I'm going I'm to let you go. I mean, uh, before I let you go, any, like, words of encouragement? Because, you know, you know, holidays or Thanksgiving, you oh, know, yeah, a yeah. lot of people can't spend time with their family and things of that nature. So any, like, words of encouragement? Oh, yeah. Pretty much, like, this is, this is, my model has it been. It's just cherish what you got. Like I know some people can't be around family and stuff like that. But you have people that can't provide for their families around this time and everything. And pretty much, this is like 
like a real like touchy time for for folks and stuff like that. Like now you got Thanksgiving coming, then Christmas is right after that. So you know a lot of people on the railroad stuff like that they do commit suicide because they can't. They can't take it no more, or they can't provide how they should for their family or how they used to, and they just get down or stuff like that, or they don't have people they can turn to, and they just look like, if I end it now, I don't have to worry about going on, but you always want to push forward. Like, just be thankful for what you got, and just, if you can't fight the fight, just lean on somebody and just talk to them. Like, that's, mm. that's you know what I mean? It's yeah. Like, talk, talking is free. Like, it doesn't pay. It doesn't pay <laughs> I like that line. You know what I mean? It doesn't. It doesn't cost you anything to listen to somebody or have or, or to talk to anybody. Only thing is going. Only pretty much thing is going to cost you is a little bit of your time. Like, just like today, I had an incident on a train where this lady with her two kids, small kids, and everything, and then she accidentally bumped into somebody with her backpack because it was a crowded train. And I guess that person must have said something to her that hurt her feelings. And she was like, I got my kids. I'm like, just calm down. I got you. It's like, it does me, it costs me nothing just to do my job. It costs me nothing extra. So I, I found her, I found her seat so that way she could sit with her kids. And she was calm. like, it's all right. It's all right. It's like, I'm here. If I can do anything for you, just let me know. You know what I mean? It doesn't hurt to be nice to people. Like, you never know what somebody is going through at any given time. So that's why I always tell people, it's like, you never know. So when you get these random shootings or something like that, you just don't know if they're being malicious or it's like they're crying out for help. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, people cry out for help in different ways. Like, some people will tell you, like, look, I need help. Can you please help me? And some other people, they'll give subtle hints that you don't uh, you don't pick up, and you just have to like try to keep having them feed you, feed you, so that way they can come out and be like, "Look, I need help. Can you help me, please?" Like it doesn't it doesn't mean it doesn't mean nothing to help nobody. Just like I'll tell you another time I did something. I got off work, driving home, two o'clock in the morning. You know, I drive from D.C. to Fredericksburg. I'm already tired getting off work and I drive another hour home I go to the store to Wawa just to pick up something and the guy was like hey can you help me out and I'm like fine get whatever you want do whatever you like I said get whatever you want it doesn't matter if you want something just get it like I don't care if you want the whole store if I got enough money and if I got enough money to buy this whole store that's what you got you can have it cause it's like I make money I spend money on 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 crazy stuff that I don't need. You know what I mean? Yeah. So for me to spend $20 on somebody that actually needs it, that's actually hungry, that, that that's showing like, hey, I'm hurting right now. Can you please help me? That does mean nothing. Like, I know I don't look for nothing in return either because I know that I have a blessed life. I know I have family. I know I have a house. I know I got two cars. I know I have money coming in every other two weeks. You know what I mean? Yeah. From my job, I got money coming in from the military. I got my benefits. I have my help. I have my child. You know what I mean? So, me doing things for people is just me. So it's like just be, just be mindful. Or like just be mindful of everything that you do, and just doesn't like I say, pay it forward. Like I told, like another time, me and Noah went to a restaurant, and the guy was just joking. But I was like, it doesn't do me nothing. Like, here, I'll pay for their meals, too. He was like, no, you don't have to. It was like, it doesn't mean nothing. But it help you out because you're going to help someone. You see what I'm doing for you, that's going to push you to do something for somebody else. Yeah. So when I paid for his meal, guess what he did? He went and paid for the next people's meal after that. You know what I mean? So yeah. Just started that like, chain yeah. reaction. Yeah, like, you got to, like, and like I said, I don't look for nothing in return. Things are going to come to you regardless. Like, if you put out bad energy, bad energy is going to come to you. If you put out good energy, that's going to come back to you. Regardless of it, it could be in money. It could be in a uh, form of meeting new people that are going to put you on the new things. It could be something that you always wanted that you finally are able to get or somebody is able to get for you as a surprise. You know what I mean? So, like mm. I say, it's like just... 
just like I said, like you said, pay it forward, man. It's like it does me nothing to do something nice for somebody else. Because in return, I know in my heart that I'm doing it for a good cause, not for something in return. So, mm, I got you. Go. You. There's your knowledge for the day. <laughs> Thank you for for the words of encouragement. Oh yeah, you welcome. You welcome. Uh-huh. Plus, you need to get another podcast. We need to do something else too. Yeah, I, I I've gotten uh feedback on our podcast that we did and it, yeah, yeah, it, it was good. But I I let you know uh when you come to the house tomorrow. All right then, cool. All cool, right, cool. I'm gonna holler at you. Uh, all right, peace, y'all be easy. All right. So yeah, that was my uncle. Damn. So uh, I still got some more people to call. I know we looking like an hour and forty five minutes, but. If you're still listening to this podcast, thank you for listening. If not, then oh, you didn't hear my apology. So, uh, yeah, let me call the homie John for a beast. Let's see if he pick up real quick. Probably not. Let me, 37. Let me see. Yo, Beast. What's going on, Yo, what's going on? Not much. Got you on the podcast on Predictable Thoughts, B. What's, that? what's going on, Predictable Thoughts? <laughs> so it's uh, Thanksgiving. Well, Thanksgiving Eve, as they may say. Uh, you uh, go back home? Nah, man, I stay in Albany. Damn, why, what's up? Um, you, know, uh, you know, I got the promotion coming up, man. I didn't want to make two runs back to uh to Atlanta so congrats on the promotion when you get pinned on December 3rd okay I gotta send you something yeah yeah I have it I just been procrastinating about sending it <laughs> oh man appreciate it. Uh, appreciate it I don't know if you gonna need it or not but I just send it anyway <laughs> but yeah man, I gave you a shout out man on the uh I did a another radio show uh, I wanna say about two weeks ago the topic was uh angry and hurt men man I gave you a shout out Oh shit! Good looking, good looking, good looking. Shit, but uh, so you know, calling for the podcast today or whatnot. You know, it's just about um Thanksgiving. You know, any traditions that you know you grew up on that you still follow today. I know, I know, you don't got a family yet. <laughs> but, um, nah, we didn't really have you know too many traditions besides, you know, everybody's getting together, you know, uh, everybody meet up at grandma's house and, um, everybody, you know, all the kids play it outside while, you know, the grown folks cook. Yeah. And then, you know, you come inside and when the, those, you know, say it's ready. But, um, no, nah, man, I got, I got plenty to be thankful for mm-hmm. now. You know, as a kid, you don't really see it growing up, but, you know, as you get older, you, you're thankful for a lot of things, man. Um, Especially, you know, good health and prosperity. Mm. That, um, that was deep. Yeah, man. Is it, uh, do you got somewhere to go tomorrow at least? Like, or, is, I mean, I don't know if that's your style or you really don't care. No, nah, yeah, man. I got, a, I got a bunch of invites. Um, So, you know, I, I'm thankful for that. So, you know, I'll make my own and I'll be appreciative uh, for the open homes. Also, um, house hunting. House hopping. Yeah. Pretty, pretty much. <laughs> Ooh, different, different coaches. You know, everybody do it a little differently. You know, I got a Hispanic family, and then, you know, you got the black folks that get down, and uh, different coaches, man. And um, you know, I get experience it all tomorrow, so we'll see what happens. Man. Yo, you gotta make sure you get some, uh, cause you say you're going to the Spanish family, so you gotta make sure you gotta get some of that coquito. Cause I don't even know how to spell coquito. <laughs> yo, sure. me either. But just yeah. ask some. I think if you if you can't remember it, just be like, yo, let me get some of that. Uh, like Hispanic eggnog. That's what I was told. Like, yeah, that's what I was told it was about Hispanic eggnog. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. uh, and then I guess to close out real quick is just like, yo, kind of explain uh, to the people like how hard it can be, you know, being in the military and, you know, missing out on, you know, times like these for, you know, Thanksgiving because it's like, yeah, you know, in the military, we may say we one big happy family, Sometimes that shit ain't true. Like, just to be honest, like, yo, you just don't fuck with certain people at the end of the day. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. Everybody that says it's your family, man, they ain't even family, man. 
and then you might, you know, meet some individuals that become, you know, closer than your family. It's crazy. Uh, I want to say for the past two years, man, I haven't had a Thanksgiving or Christmas, man. I was either overseas or, you know, TV somewhere. Um, so it's crazy. So it's like, you know, who, who, what do you call family, you know? Yeah. Um, who do you come home to, you know, who got that cooked meal, you know, fresh off the road. You don't, you don't want to, you know, sit down and slave over the kitchen. So, you know, you're hoping somebody had a home-cooked meal already for you. You know, you know what I mean? That, that good old, you know, turkey, of a big ham, all that good stuff, you know. Yeah. You know, it, it, it ain't no, you know, gourmet meal in the barracks. None of that. No, you know, and some people kind of forget. I want to say civilian sector, and I, I say this even, uh, I challenge this, even higher-ups, you know, as you kind of progress in rank. Like, you kind of forget how, how it is to feel to be that E1, E2, E3 or whatnot. So, exactly. it's like, yo, yeah, you can invite them. Like, yo, just come over to my house. But, like, yo, that, that shit ain't the same at the end of the day. Like, yeah, and, it, and, it, and everything is not genuine, man. So, you yeah. got you to gotta catch people's vibes and motives, man. Because some people only do things, they only want things in return. And you don't want to deal with people like that. You know? Yeah, like, well, you came to my house for Thanksgiving, so I'm going to need you to do this funeral. <laughs> you, you, you know what I mean? Yeah. And it shouldn't be like that. You know, Thanksgiving should be about, you know, genuinely, you know, giving without any remorse. Mm. That 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 was deep. I like that. I like that. I like that. So uh before we uh dip out on this, is it did I ask for words of encouragement? I've been on the henny, so my bad. No, you good with the henny white. Yeah, the henny white to get you right. I need to get some of that. <laughs> got you, got um, you. Yeah, any words of encouragement? Especially being um, around the holidays and stuff like that. Oh man. Um be grateful. Um, be grateful for what you do have and what you don't have. Because in certain situations, not having can teach you what not to do. Ooh. That makes sense. Yeah, that was bars right there. That was yeah. bars. Not having can teach you what not to do. So be grateful because some things aren't meant for you to have. That that I think that was one of my deepest lines for tonight. My bad, bro. I don't know where that came from, man. Look, <laughs> <laughs> I'm predictable thoughts, you know. Hey, um, keep the vibe going. Keep the vibe yeah, going. Yeah, man. I, I appreciate you for having me, man. It's always a good time, man. You hit me with some good topics, man. And, and like, like I said, it's, it comes from the soul, man. Um, get the the hamster wheel turning, and I, you know, I'm grateful for things I do and don't have. So. Thank you for unpredictable thoughts for having me on the show. Um, hit me up any and every time. It's, it's always a pleasure, bro. Yo, thank you for always looking out, just always being genuine, being real, and just like, yo, just them, them talks. And, you know, as men, before I get in, I, I know I'm about to go deep, but just as men, it's like, yo, you know, it, it's okay to have them talks with your homeboys and just be Man, like, yo. Safe. Save that topic for another time, bro. We're, we're, we're going to hit that, bro. Definitely. <laughs> yeah, that. But, yeah, I'm going to just do a surface level. Yo, it's okay to have talks with your homeboys. Like, yo, women do it yeah. all the time. But as right. men, why do we kind of ball yeah. it up? Sometimes you need to have that talk with your homeboy, you did. Yeah, just to understand, like, yo, you may be fucking up at the end of the day. And, like, you have homeboys that will hold you accountable for that. But I don't even want to go deep into it. This is Thanksgiving. Keep the the spirit alive and keep the energy alive, and you're gonna keep it pushing. I'm about to call Foster and see what the fuck he doing. <laughs> Just hit me up, man. Happy Happy Thanksgiving to you and yours, man. All right, you too, boss man. All right, bro. All right. Jones, one one of the nearest and dearest, like very genuine. Don't really ask for much, but goddamn, give him the world. Like, yo, Jones is, is that guy. Another one. I don't think Foster going to answer. Oh, this nigga did answer. <laughs> this nigga did answer. You the, you my last call, Foster. Yo, what's good? Yo, what's going on? You, you busy or what? I'm chilling. I'm sitting here watching the game. Oh, shit. Sure. Okay, got you, got you. So, uh, doing the podcast and whatnot, just uh, got this vibe to do one about, you know, the whole Thanksgiving vibe, traditions, and maybe a little bit, uh, a little perspective of how it is to, you know, be in the military 
and you know how it is around holiday time frame. circumstance that you in, you know, uh, Marines that are in theater, it may be a little harder because stay away from family, you know, while they're out of way doing something, working probably. And you got other ones that's back in garrison, you know, the other ones that say, get, get out and, you know, go take that, that, that leave time that is guaranteed to them so they can go see their families and be with their families. Well, some of them. Yeah, 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 some of them. I mean, you know, it, it, it's just, you know, stuff duty come up, you know, or they might just go over to a co-worker's house. Nine times out of ten, especially, you know, the Marine Corps built around family. So, you know, I know for my, myself being over there in Japan, I will always go over to my sergeant house or whoever invited me over. I remember one time I went to this lady's house and I didn't even meet her. <laughs> you say you ain't meet her? I, I never even knew her. Oh, shit. Like, I never said hey to the lady or anything. Like, I, I walked in the house, got my plate, ate the food, talked to everybody else in the house, didn't even know that that lady, that that was her house. Oh, just like a nigga, I tell you. <laughs> I'm playing. Hey, but she opened the arms up to us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. But it really was like that. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. So you good for for Thanksgiving? You go home or what's your circumstances looking like? Uh, well, you know I'm in Georgia, man. So I'm gonna uh, go kick it with my uncles. Yeah. I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna go all the way back down home, but just to be back to work. So. Yeah. So so like, cause you're recruiting right now. So like, uh, are they you 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 all Thanksgiving then working the next day type vibe? Nah, like you get a ninety six, but it's just. Man, with the recruiting world, it's, it's a grind. So you it's know, like, yo, if you don't work, that's on you. Yeah, yeah, you know, but you want to stay on top of your, your game because, you know, you get behind, it's ten times harder to catch back up. Yeah, got it, got it. So I was asking earlier, uh, what are, like, some 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 dishes, like, no-go dishes you, you ain't trying to see? Cranberry sauce, man. I don't get down with that shit. Like, what? Cranberry sauce is like, <laughs> I hate cranberry sauce. <laughs> passion. Like, don't put that shit on my, like, every time my mom put it on my plate, I'm like, listen. Like, please. Please get that away from that. Yo, cranberry sauce be the move, yo. Nah, the best dish on Thanksgiving is the dressing, bro. Like, I'm telling you. Dressing hands down. It's like one of my favorite favorite foods in the world, dressing. Yo, so my question to you is, right, so born in the South, all that. So is it dressing or is it stuffing? So when you, I think when you Google it, it comes up like, I want to say it came up like stuffed dressing or something like that. Stuffed dressing. So it's, I even think on the box it still says stuffed dressing. So it's the same. We always say dressing though. Like I've never said stuffing. Like I felt like if you're if it's called stuffing, when you, it's when you put it in the turkey. Mm. I feel like dressing is just like the cornbread, like you know what I mean. Cornbread with the little chicken pieces like, sometimes. Yeah, you know you mix it up with the chicken broth. But yeah, you know how to cook. Come on. Yeah, yeah I know how to cook, but yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to verify for. Yeah, bacon. I feel like stuffing is when you put it inside the turkey. So, but I think on the box though, I think it does say stuffed dressing. I don't know. So one of the same. Yeah, hey, I got you, got. But, you know, hey, northern to say some weird shit. Southern to say some weird stuff. So, but. Hey, it's still the same thing at the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, know, so uh, is it like you know growing up or whatnot? Any uh. Thanksgiving traditions that your family follows or followed? Oh, man. Uh, you know, really just getting together as a family. I know we used to always play card games, like Phase 10. Uh, I know, like, my grandma and all them, like, her my us and stuff, so they play, like, some game called Kino. Kino. I, I, I see. I know how it, how it looks, but I don't know how to. Oh, yeah, it's a bunch of pennies or something yeah. like that. 
attend this game called Skip O and that Bikino game. Like that was always played around, you know, my granny house on Thanksgiving. Mm. Yeah. So that's like the little tradition that we had, but you know, people grow up, we get away from that. Yeah. I mean, but that, but that, but that's something we shouldn't sh- stray away from tradition. No, that's how we kind of keep our heritage. I mean, of course, you, you ain't trying to play Keno until you like forty something, but <laughs> <laughs> at least <laughs> put an age limit on that game. Like, uh, but at least like, yo, do something. I, I mean, I don't know. Take a, a tablecloth. Put what you grateful for, or yeah, take pictures. I saw it was like all the it seemed like all the traditions and the you know stuff we did around the holiday time died when the uh the elders passed yeah like i just posted it on my face yeah i I seen that and it's like yo like i kind of like as far as this society is going it's like i kind of feel bad to like how it's going to be because it's like yo we trust me, man. I see it like it's a lot of pride in tradition and keeping stuff going. Yeah, and we kind of killing it. Kids on, man. Like it's crazy. And people like yo, I'm gonna just work for Thanksgiving and like I understand like people need money and all that stuff, but like yo, like yo, what happened to being around family, being around people you love, like. Like I said, I understand people have different circumstances and, you know, they pay the overtime and just different things of that nature. But I'm like, yo. Yeah. Where is the the tradition at? Where is the heritage at? How are you going to keep things going? Mm-hmm. I mean, it is what it is. But before I, I close out, uh, any, like, maybe... <laughs> Words of encouragement or whatnot, you know, for military personnel or just people that can't make it home during the holidays or Thanksgiving. Shit, get cool with your damn co workers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you got a nine times out of ten, you probably got a homie that's on base with you that's probably going to look out for you. Like, you can come kick with me and my family. Yeah. You know what we used to do down the hall, Oh, fuck yeah. Like, yo, come to the room. Yeah. That's it. About, about to cook up something, come to the room, kick it, you know. I don't know if your podcast got any young followers, so I'm trying to watch what I say. Shit, I, I mean, I don't know. I give a fuck. I cuss all the time. Oh, shit. You know, drink on some whatever we got. You know? Drink responsibly. That's all I say. If you're going to drink, drink responsibly. Like, if you're underage, I'm not condoning underage drinking at all. But, like, yo, we know what happens. Let's not be dumb about it. Like, I didn't underage drink, you know. Grandfather might have passed me a brew or two. Yeah, but I'm like, yo, drink uh, drink responsibly. That At the end of the day, like, y'all understand you breaking the law. But, like, yo, if you want to get down to laws, we break them every day, B. <laughs> Big facts. Yeah, so I'm like, yo, drink responsibly at the end of the day. If you can drink, if drinking is your thing, Go ahead for it. Don't overindulge. Definitely. Don't try to prove anything to nobody. Like, yo, do your thing. But, I mean, if drinking not your thing, don't get pressure into drinking, of course. Like, Definitely not my thing anymore. Uh, I know. But you're living that healthy life. That's all that matters, y'all. Veganism. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to close out on this podcast. I'm on the, on the uh, thing with you. But uh, I want to give, sh- give a shout out to everybody that uh, I called today. Like, I had this in, like, order, and I kind of went out of order, but uh, I want to say thank y'all for picking up the phone. I was last? Yeah. Oh, Be- my. Yeah. So, uh... That's the best for last, right? Exactly, exactly. Especially being in, in that recruiter area, like, yo, people don't people don't think about that. Like, that shit could be a low-key depressing life. Like, if you don't, if you don't have that balance... Yeah, that's the key. That's the key to it right there. You know, that balance, man. Learning. Yeah. Definitely say, boy, it's just, it ain't for everybody. It's not. You got to be built for that shit. If you can hustle, you can recruit. That's all I got to say. And motherfuckers know why I say you can hustle. But, uh, (laughs) 
But uh, yeah, I'm gonna say thank y'all for listening for real, for real. Um, make sure y'all check out the unpredictablethoughts2.com website. Check out the merchandise, the latest podcast, and like yo, for real, for real, like yo, this podcast is for the people. Like yo, I'm not just doing it for me. This for the people. So I'm all my active militaries for all my veterans out there because it's like yo, so much knowledge out there. But, like, nobody never want to network. Nobody want to read the manual. We always say, well, if it doesn't look right, it's wrong. Like, yo, did you read the manual first? This, tell me if it's wrong. Probably not. Like, yo, it is what it is. That's why I always got my part. <laughs> but thank y'all for listening to Unpredictable Thoughts Podcast, the Thanksgiving edition. I'm drinking on that Henny White to get me right. Peace. <laughs>